So down here on my timeline, I've got uh, my time indicator. That's this little guy right here. And that's where in time uh, we are on the timeline. And right now, I don't have any keyframes in here. I just have this ball up at this uh, layer here. This layer is in this position. So uh, I can twirl, that, twirl down this caret next to the layer, twirl it down some more. Uh, I can expand this a bit so we can see all of our different options. And notice we've got little stopwatches here on the side of every uh, transform function. And I've got anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. Those can all be animated over time because that's all we're doing is we're creating instances of time. And by giving it a keyframe, we say at this point, this is going to be this. At this point, it's going to be that and you do everything else for me in between. <laughs> so, it's, uh, so if I wanted to make this 0% uh, you know, opacity there and then have it fade in, it would just be a matter of setting the stopwatch here at uh, my first frame and then having it fade, move it down, and having it come up to 100. So it could go down to 0 and then have it come up to 100. So that's all keyframes are. They just tell you to do things during a sp specific part of time. Now, if I want to wipe out my keyframes, I just click the stopwatch. It just deletes them, and they're gone. And that can also be a danger, too, so you have to be careful. You may have a complicated you know, animation, and you'll click that stopwatch, and oh my gosh, all my keyframes are gone. So that's what Command-Z is for. Command-Z is our friend. So if I just want to make this thing bounce, I'm going to uh, click my first position. It's at the up position here. I click the stopwatch. That's going to set my first keyframe. Then I come out here to about the halfway point. I'm going to drag it down. There's a couple different ways I can move my uh, layer content. I can click and drag it, and I can hold down the shift key, which is going to constrain my motion. So I bring it down here to the bottom. And now I've got half of my bounce. It goes down to the bottom. Now I want it to come up to the top again. So I can either click and drag it to move it all the way up to the top again and hope that I got it pretty good. Uh, I've got a guide up there, so that helps me. Or I can simply just delete that keyframe, bring my playback head out here to where I want it to be, Select the first keyframe, because I want to make a loop. I want this to bounce up and down, up and down. So I'll copy that keyframe, and then paste, and there it is. So I've got the exact same location right there. OK? Now I've got uh, a bounce that happens here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's uh, pretty nasty. It looks like an Atari game, a uh, game of Pong there. So how do we make this a little bit nicer? Uh, how do we smooth that out? Well, what happens when a ball bounces? Does it just bounce and hit a ceiling? Not typically, no. It will bounce, and then it has like a little bit of hang time up there. So what I'm going to do is right click on this keyframe. And down here, my contextual menu, I've got a keyframe assistant. I'll come over to Easy Ease Out. That means I'm easing out of that position. I'm in this position. I want it to slowly move away from that position. So that's when you ease out of something. Uh, and on the other end of that is when it comes back up. It doesn't just hit that line. I want it to ease into that position. So I will right click on that keyframe, come down to keyframe assistant, easy ease in. So what that does is it slows it as it comes into the station. The train's pulling into the station. It doesn't come in and hit a block, and everybody goes flying out of the train. It eases in. So if you think of it that way, of a car or something, you've got passengers. You don't want to jolt them. This isn't a uh, Tron. You know, you're not making sharp right angle turns at 100 miles an hour. So you want everything to ease. So now when I RAM preview that, it gives me a little bit of a, hey, a little hesitation. Gravity is going to take over. And if I want to slow that down a little bit, I can change my keyframe velocity. And by doing that, I right click on the keyframe down here, keyframe velocity. 
And by default, it's always 33 and a third percent. I can go to 50 percent, and that will smooth it out even more. So I can do the same thing going in that I have coming out, keyframe velocity, my out, uh, incoming velocity, because I'm easing it, excuse me, easing in is going to be uh, 50 percent as well. So now when I do a ramp preview, it's a little better. 